In this video, we are going to be talking about the master page directive and the content placeholder. And these are the two things that make a master page different from a normal page. Uh, whenever a master page is created, it uses the the master directive, it uses this directive and not the normal page directive. So which is, uh, let me show you from VWD, if we go to the master page, let's go to the uh, the page source. If we go to a normal page source, for example the default um, page, if we create a page as you can see here we have the directive of a page, but when we go to the master page it has the uh, the directive of master and this is the difference between uh, the two. So let's go back to your presentation. Also, master page uses the content placeholder to mark the area which can be modified in the page content that inherits from the master page. And this is what I was explaining in the previous video that uh, uh, the content placeholder it is what's going to uh, be used inside the master page to mark the area that you want to modify in the normal page when you create a new web form. You can add as many content placeholder, and we did this in the previous video where we added two. Uh, content placeholder. You can add as many content placeholder as you want to the different parts of the website that you, that you can be able to mod. So you can be able to modify the content on the page. So anywhere in the page where you want to modify the content. For example, if you want to modify the content in the sidebar, all you have to do is just place a content placeholder in the sidebar, so that whenever you create a new page, you'll be able to modify the content in the sidebar. Uh, it is always a good idea to use CSS to design your master page so you should take your time because you know the master page will represent the uh, the look and feel of your website so it's always a good idea to take your time even if you're going to spend the whole day to design your master page to the to to your heart content because uh, once you have this master page in place then all your pages are going to inherit from it and they're going to look like it so even if you want to if you're not happy with anything say for example the color you only have to modify the master page so it's not a good idea to use maybe t um, uh, to use uh, the CSS style for each page which uh, let me show you let me show you what I mean by that for example the the default page if you want you can go ahead and modify the background color from here you can change the background color uh, you can change the BG color from here, you can change it to anything you want, you can change uh, uh, the style, you can change the style, you can change a lot of things right here, but uh, it's not a good idea to modify each page by itself, it's always good to uh, to modify the uh, master page so that all the th so that all the changes will be reflected in the pages. When the master page is associated with the content page, the page directive directive we include a master page file attribute which contains the path to the master page that is associated with let me show you what that means so for example we've associated the master page with page 2 so if you look at the page directive at the top here you can see that uh, we have an, another attribute called a master page file and it points to the master page that we're using and the reason why this is important is because remember that uh, you can have more than one master page in one web application. For example, if you have a website which one caters for the staff and one caters for the student, you can change it. You can have two master page, one master page that reflects the um, the way the look and feel of the student side, and you can have another master page for the staff side. So it depends. So that's why you have to have which master page this page is actually using that's why the master page file uh, has the uh, virtual path to it so let's go back to our presentation and uh, content pages that inherit a master page does not contain XHTML tags that is what I was showing you earlier on in the previous video there is no XHTML tag in the page that inherits from a master page all you see is the content tag the page will contain just content controls which can also contain any HTML tag or ASP.NET control. Let me show you what that means. For example now this is a, this is a page with content placeholder 1 so we can only write stuff in this page but this page can also contain everything that you that you can uh, for example we can add uh, 
a button inside of it we can add a button and it's going to be fine we can add uh, a text box so you can add ASP.NET control at the same time you can add uh, a paragraph tag which is an HTML tag so you can add tag this is page 2 so if we go to the design view we can see that we have a button and a text box so you can have uh, any ASP.NET control in the content uh, the content control so as you see we have a button we have a text box and we have our so these are ASP.NET controls and this is HTML tag so you can have any HTML tag or ASP.NET control inside of the content this content control this content control so um, let's go back to our presentation so this is the end of it just want to point your attention to the content please hold out so you can have as many as you want in one page and the master page directive so I'll see you in the next video thank you